Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you all had a good week. I had a good week for myself and I'm excited for the weekend. Um, I have a haircut coming up and a potential client meeting, so that's, that's a pretty exciting weekend for me. <laughs> um, we're just going to be hanging around the house. We had thought about maybe like doing something over the weekend, but I think we just kind of nixed that. We'll probably go to the gym and just kind of have family time. So it's going to be pretty laid back. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dive into Friday favorites and flops for you guys. So the first thing I'm going to mention is my perfume pick for the week. And I've been sporting the amazing grace all week from philosophy. Now I had heard a while ago that philosophy was not cruelty free and so I had made the decision to stop purchasing philosophy products but then I checked their cruelty free status as of 2016 and I have seen some people say that philosophy is now cruelty free I'm not 100% on that I still need to do a little bit more research so I would love it if it were true because I really like this fragrance and I've used it for quite some time and um, I was actually kind of dreading finishing it because I knew that, you know, if philosophy wasn't cruelty free, I wasn't going to be purchasing from them going forward. So um, anyway, I really do like this. I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth research and then maybe let you guys know next week what I find out. But that's just kind of some preliminary info there. I love this. It's an awesome everyday fragrance. This is a really good like office appropriate fragrance too because it's not offensive. Um, so you can spritz a little bit on and it smells really clean and fresh and pretty. Um, it's very feminine but it's not like overpowering. Um, so this is a really good one. Um, I only have like a couple of makeup things to talk about and the first is actually a like technique that I've been doing. So this product is nothing new to you guys. I've had this in my beauty basket for the last month or so, longer even. It's the Tarte Creamy Confidence, um, sorry, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. Now you can use this dry with a brush, but what I've been doing is using it with a wet like um, beauty sponge. I don't want to say beauty blender because that's a that's a brand, right? <laughs> With a wet beauty sponge. Um, you can use this particular one wet or dry. So I decided to try it wet and you guys, I love it even more. I love this when I use it with a sponge, like so much so that like, I think as soon as I run out of this, I'm going to repurchase it. The coverage this gives on my skin is like doubled when I use it with a wet beauty sponge. Um, it also helps to like get the product a little bit more into my pores this way and it helps to hide my pores a little bit better. I just I love this. Um, I use the color Fair Light Neutral and that works pretty well for me. I do still top it with a um, just a setting powder and I'm using the Paulus Trace Resist Flawless Finish Powder in Light Medium and I'll just brush a little bit of this over top and not only has this like made my skin look a lot more flawless but it also wears better throughout the day like now that it's getting warmer where I'm at like this just honestly helps to prolong the wear of my makeup by applying it that way in the morning um it's beautiful I love it I really I love the way my skin looks with this um this sponge right here it came with the pure contour stick um which i really like too but you can get these beauty blender type sponges anywhere i've heard that the real techniques one is really great and really affordable so i will link the real techniques sponge down below if you use a powder foundation try using it with a wet sponge i mean it's it's almost like us powder foundation girls get to use like um like a not i wouldn't say liquid but like you know just we can get better coverage this way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So worth a try maybe with some other powder foundations as well. I will continue to try it with some of my other ones and then fill you guys in how that goes. Um, another just slightly random, um, and I don't even know if this is so much a recommendation, but I've been using it this week and I've been loving it, but I didn't love it at first. It took me a long time to get to really liking this mascara. It's the Josie Moran Argon Black Oil Mascara. And I've literally had this sample for months. And when I first started using it, it was really wet. 
Well, now that it's had a chance to dry out, I love this. I'm wearing it on my lashes today. It helps build a lot of volume and length. Um, it doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't transfer anymore now that the formula is a little bit drier. But I don't know that I would necessarily buy it because, I mean, it took a couple months of, like, drying out for it to get to this point. Um, if I were to be able to get my hands on some samples, I think I would probably buy, like, this smaller size. I don't think I would invest in the full size. But if Sephora ever has these as 100-point perks again, um, I would definitely think about grabbing a couple because... Now that the formula is older, and this is the case for me with a lot of mascaras, um, you know, once they dry out a little bit, I like them better, and this is absolutely one. So I'll link it to Sephora down below, and you can kind of read other people's reviews on it. Um, I think the reviews are kind of hit and miss, but now that it's older, like, I love it on my lashes, and I'm going to be sad when it starts to, like, dry out, because... I mean, I don't know if I, like, I'm going to be able to get my hands on, like, more of these minis, but anyway... Okay, I had a request for a favorite brush video, and honestly, I don't know that I really have enough brushes to like do an entire video about this. You guys know that a lot of my brushes are Sigma, and back in the day when Sigma first came out, I purchased just a ton of Sigma brushes. I mean, like I spent hundreds of dollars on Sigma brushes. This is why I'm so pissed about this. <laughs> and they started falling apart within a year, and I'm talking like... The ferrules would come loose, giant clumps of, like, um, hairs would come out of the brushes. Like, it was infuriating. And when I tried to talk to the company about it, they were like, well, that's not our fault. You know, like, our brushes are good brushes, and we're not going to replace them. We're not going to refund you. Um, you know, you've had them for a year. How do we know that you didn't take proper care of them? To which I was like, <laughs> take good care of my brushes. But, I mean, right, how would they know? whatever. Point is, I think for me, Sigma personally sucks, and I regret purchasing all the brushes that I did, I mean, and I'm in the process of replacing them. I'm going to make a purchase with Zoeva. I just haven't been able to commit the initial investment. Oop. Hang on one second. Sorry, my husband took Stella to school, and he... Don't ask. Don't ask. Anyway, um, I'm going to be purchasing the Zoeva brushes, but I'm having a hard time committing to the initial investment. <laughs> I'm just, a, I know they're not going to suck because the reviews are amazing, but because of like my issue with Zig Sigma, not Zoeva, Sigma, um, I'm just a little bit hesitant, but I know I need to do it. These, uh, I'm looking at my brushes over here. I have so many brushes that I need to replace that it's like almost overwhelming. But I thought I'd go ahead and mention three brushes that I have that I do really love. Um, the first is a Smashbox number 12 brow brush. This is the brow brush I have used for years. I got it actually from QVC way back in the day, but it's honestly been my favorite brow brush ever because the bristles are really, um, there's cat fur everywhere. My cat has been laying on my desk here during the day because she's been getting some good sunshine. But um it, they're just really firm bristles, and this is just a wonderful, wonderful brow brush. I'll try to see if I can find this. I don't know if Smashbox still makes it, but this is one of my favorite all-time brushes. And if anything ever happened to this, I would be majorly bummed. I feel like I have something in my teeth. I totally don't, but... And then these are two Sonia Kashuk brushes that I got at Target. I really like the Sonia Kashuk brushes for their face brushes, but their eye brushes just don't appeal to me. Um, but this is a um, like a contour brush here. It's really firm. I, I use this for contour. These are natural bristles. Um, and it's this black handle line, so these are a little bit more expensive. But these have been fantastic, and I want to say these were each maybe somewhere around $17 or $18. This is the blush brush. And I just, I love a blush brush like this because I have... Um, I have a big face. There's a lot of surface area here, folks. So this does a good job of just, you know, being a perfect fit for my face shape and my huge cheeks and stuff. So, but the Sonia Kashuk brushes in this particular, you know, lineup right here are just really wonderful. Um, I will definitely try a couple more of the face brushes from this line, but if you're looking for something that you can readily find, like at a Target, 
these are really nice. Um, I'll see if I can find these on Target online and maybe you can read a little bit more about them. But um, these have always gotten good reviews from what I've seen. So thought I'd mention those. And then I have um, a couple of skincare things and also a, well, let's do the clarifying shampoo. <laughs> I wanted to mention this. This is the Avalon Organics Clarifying Shampoo. Um, it's the Clarifying Lemon. And I've been using this ever since I got it in my Vitacost haul, and I really like it. I use a clarifying shampoo once a week, usually on Sundays, sort of like start over for the following week. Um, I do use styling products in my hair. I didn't use a ton today, but um, it's good to use a clarifying shampoo. This one smells just like fresh lemons. Um, you know, it foams up really nicely. It's not like overly foamy, but I can tell that it gets my hair really clean. You do have to use a good mask or conditioner after using a clarifying product like this because it, it will strip your hair. That's the point. You got to get all that gunk out of there. It's, it's going to dry your hair out a little bit, so you need to moisturize. But this is one of the best ones that I find, and obviously Avalon Organics is cruelty-free. They're also non-GMO, vegan, and biodegradable. So um, for those of you that are not only using exclusively cruelty-free, but you're trying to go vegan as well, this is a really good one. The first ingredient in here is actually um, aloe leaf juice, and then water is the second ingredient. So this is nice. This is a really good product. I will continue to repurchase this one because it's the best that I found so far from a cruelty free company. Avalon Organics. Let's stick with these guys. <laughs> this is their Brilliant Balance with Lavender and Prebiotics Enzyme Scrub. I love this. I don't love it as much as the Acure, but I really love this. This is wonderful. It has a really nice lavender scent. Um, this does have the ground up walnut shells in it. So I know some of you people are not scrub people. Don't buy it if you don't like scrubs. <laughs> I love them. I feel like they sloth off dead skin cells. I do use a lot of retinol products, a lot of BHAs and AHAs. So sometimes my skin can get a little flaky. This helps to get rid of those flakies. Um, and then reveals the smooth, fresh, clean skin underneath. Um, but if you don't like those ground up walnut shells, I would not try this. Now they're really, really finely ground. This is actually a pretty gentle scrub in my opinion. It's much more gentle than the Acure brightening facial scrub, but this is nice. Um, I will probably repurchase this one in the future and alternate it with the Acure. It's really great. I love the smell of it. It's um, hypoallergenic. It's dermatologist tested. Again, vegan, biodegradable, and it just smells really, really good. I like that lavender scent. I just got water all over everything here. Um, eye cream. Okay. I go back and forth on using eye creams consistently, but for the last week, actually probably a couple of weeks, I've been using the Paula's Choice Resist Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This has shea butter and peptides in it, and this helps to soften the appearance of the little tiny fine lines that I'm starting to get underneath my skin. This is crazy thick, you guys. Um, just show you here. Like it's, like it's a really, really thick, heavy eye cream and it takes the smallest amount. I mean, it's going to take me forever to get through this whole thing, but it's so hydrating. When I wake up in the morning, my eyes look so soft and hydrated and like supple. The skin just looks amazing. Uh, I find this a little bit too heavy for me personally during the day, but at night, right before going to bed, it's fabulous. I, I really like this eye cream. You guys know I'm a sucker for all things Paula's Choice. I just find that line to be absolutely incredible. They don't put any fragrances in any of their products. Like, they just put in the good ingredients and then in very basic packaging, and the stuff just works. Like, I've had such good luck with Paula's Choice. I've done several videos about my skincare routine already, and I've mentioned lots of products that I love from the company. So, um, I think they're fantastic. But this eye cream definitely one of my faves. Last thing I want to mention is the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses, 1000 Roses Facial Toner. Um, so what I've been doing with this, I will admit the sprayer on this is like, it's like a, like a monsoon on your face. This is not a gentle spray, but I've been spraying it into the palm of my hand after getting out of the shower in the morning and then like patting it into my skin. This is great stuff, you guys. I don't need to use a moisturizer after this. This has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it also has uh, aloe and 
what else does it have? Oh, the rest of the ingredients are on the box. It has pomegranate, um, the hyaluronic acid, and the aloe are like the three main ingredients in here that they list on the back. But I'm going to list this below where you can find it on Vitacost. Really, the best deals are there. I also saw this at Fred Meyer the other day, but I think they had it for like $16 or $17. Um, it's not nearly that much on Vitacost, but if you're placing a Vitacost order anyway, anytime soon, you need to put this in your cart. It's wonderful. Um, Andalou, again, cruelty-free. Yeah, okay, this is Avalon. This is Andalou. Um, Andalou is also cruelty-free. They are also vegan, and they're certified gluten-free, So, and they use like non-GMO ingredients. So anyway, this one is a must if you are looking for, say you have oily skin and you don't necessarily want to use a heavy moisturizer in the morning, but you know you're supposed to put some kind of moisture into your skin, this is great doesn't leave you greasy it just soaks into your skin and just makes it feel wonderful so anyway that's it those are my Friday favorites and flops I'm done I'm expecting my husband to walk in the door any minute he's taken today off work which is like it's kind of weird because he's never really around during the week and so he's I'm like what are we supposed to do <laughs> you're messing with my daily flow but no it's great I don't I don't I don't know maybe we'll just hang out and do housework together who knows but Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a really great weekend, and um, I will see you guys. I think I have a couple candle reviews. No, I don't. I'm going to be continuing my makeup storage and organization series this weekend because I wanted to get all those videos out in a row. So there's two more videos coming up in that series this weekend. So look for those Saturday and Sunday if you're interested. Anyway, again, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next week.